Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji. This is Rasaji Speaks. I'm so happy that you can be with us. We're in the middle of the week now. Some people refer to it as hump day. I don't know that, but I'm sure glad you're with us. And I'm excited about today's lesson. Beyond the illusion, awaken to the truth of existence. Beyond illusion, awaken to the truth of existence. See, when Bodhanathar, our first Lama, sometimes referred to as Lao Tzu in China, one and the same individual, a lot of people don't know that. He was in India during the time where being in the physical was considered the matrix. It was Maya. Maya then, that term meant illusion. So our existence here, they were saying, was very much an illusion. He didn't buy all that. Something in his soul that was stirring. We were still in the descending night of God. According to the ancient city yogas and the Swamiji's, that a day and night of God each is about 12,000 years. And when you put them together, right? It's a 24,000 year cycle. If I'm reading Judean Christian, and it says that God created earth and humanity in the seven day cycle, were they talking seven times 24 hours? Or were they talking seven times 24,000 years? Huge difference. So if you didn't buy into that concept, of, Judean Christian scripture, maybe that's why. Maybe your soul knew that wasn't true. But it also knows your existence is true. So what Bodhanathar said to the gurus that were teaching him meditation, teaching him kundalini yoga, energy yoga, hatha yoga, yoga of sun and moon, pranayama yoga, the yoga of breathing energy, janja of mantra yoga, the yoga of the mala garlands, whatever that discipline was, he said to his guru, if my God is the God that I serve, my God is as much God in 3D as he is in 4D, 5D, and beyond. My God is a God of everywhere, infinite intelligence, infinite being, and infinite manifestation. Does that sound like existence? You bet yourself, boy, howdy it is. He said that I already know that my soul is eternal and is immortal. I need to convince this and convince this that it could be, that it could be. According to Judean scripture, the cells are instituted through the priesthood of Levi, which was passed down all the way from Moses through the end delivery of patriarchs and the prophets all the way to the Sanhedrin priesthood, and then eventually the beginning of the Catholic Church itself. But according to Paul in Hebrews, St. Paul, he said that was the priesthood of death. But he said there was a priesthood of eternal life. And that priesthood was led by Melchiz or Melchizedek. And he said that Jesus, that Master Rabbi Jesus, was his high priest. His high priest. Sounds like existence important. Let me show you how important. Paul says that this Melchizedek 
which in Genesis was tithed to by Abraham, which is the father seed of three world religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. That's a big deal. But Melchizedek, is he of a bloodline of Abraham? Paul says something a little different, something very unusual. You need to listen carefully. This Melchizedek, king of Salah, had neither father nor mother nor end of days, but like unto the Son of God, ascended into a priesthood of forever. After studying and practicing many years, and seeing Melchizedek in meditation, visions, and dreams. In his 175th year of training, which modeled the 175,000 years of the reign of Adam or Shiva, Melchizedek brings Boganatha out of meditation and shows him how powerful a physical existence can be. When the student is ready, the master will appear. Maybe just anywhere, maybe in your dreams, maybe in your meditations, maybe right in front of your eyes. Baraka Bashai. May the blessings be to you and your glorious family. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the Thursday lesson of Risaji Speaks. Thanks for stopping by. God bless.